What is happening, people? We are back with some more Pokemon Sword. So we are on our way to the next gym. And things are about to get pretty exciting. We have some battles over this way. There is a TM, I think, past this little girl. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and battle you. We're just going to keep our Wooloo in front. Were you look thinking of passing through without even looking at my Pokemon? Oh, sorry. This girl's just really trying to show off her mods. All right, schoolgirl Kaylee. Um, I do believe our Sobble is about to evolve next level if it evolves at 16, which I'm pretty sure it does. So this should be exciting. You got a Purloin. Fun fact about Purloin. All right, so recently I was wondering why the hell this thing was named Purloin. So I looked up the name, and it turns out Google was like, did you mean Purloin with just one R? And so I clicked on that, and it, it's actually a word for, like, thief. So I never even knew that. Dark type cat. Purloin has got the purr in there. Its name is literally to steal stuff. And I thought that was actually really cool. I feel like there's probably a lot of other Pokemon names that I never have really thought twice about, but they have some clever names. And then they'll hit you with, like, I made a tweet about this the other day. But then they'll hit you with a Pokemon, they're like, lol, this one's name is Seal. So there's really... <laughs> some of them are super clever, others are just, you know, not a lot of effort. But Perloin goes down, Wooloo is doing it big. And next is a Squivet. Uh, so a little squirrel thing. We are going to go into Dexter here. Just to be able to water pulse the hell out of it. It'll make it nice and easy. Um, I do actually want to start training up my Roly Coley. Our boy Nugget is actually a really cool Pokemon. I think has a lot of potential for evolution. So pretty soon here we're going to toss that thing in front. But for now we're going to water pulse the hell out of this. We might grow a level off of this. And we finally get to see Sobble's evolution. What a damn day. We haven't had any evolutions yet. Uh, we're actually quite a while into the game as well. I think I am relatively lower leveled than a lot of people are. I haven't done really much grinding. Which I think is probably the way to go, because I think it's relatively easy to get over leveled with this, especially with the EXP share always on. But that thing goes down, all the ex all the experience, and we're not quite going to grow a level, but win or lose, I don't mind. I just wanted to show off my Pokemon. See? She did! <laughs> Give us some money, and we are on our way. So I think there's just the TM over here. We have a berry tree, um, but yeah, here is where we saw that TM at the beginning of last time we got into this route. is going to be TM 37 for beat up, uh, which is kind of nice. Also, let's go ahead and grab ourselves something from the berry tree. So, we saw how these worked in the wild area, I believe. Essentially, berries just keep dropping, and it asks you if you want to shake it more. So you can get greedy. Eventually, a Pokemon will come down, and if you do get attacked by the Pokemon... Damn, there's seven berries on the ground. I kind of just want to quit. But I want to see what Pokemon's going to attack me. Screw it, we're shaking it again. Prism and a Petra Berry fell from the tree. Nine berries on the ground. Bruh. We're going to keep it going. Maybe we're just getting really lucky. T Ten. Jesus, I'm going to keep shaking it. And we finally get attacked. It is going to be just a Squivet. And that's actually fine. So this was one of the Pokemon that I haven't caught yet uh, from the new Galar region. So we are going to just... You know what? I'm just going to huck a ball at this thing. We seem to have great luck with it anyway. Let's try to catch this thing. I'm not going to end up using it on the team. But I do want to try to catch as many of the new Pokemon as possible when we come across them. I think we haven't encountered one since we've had access to Pokeballs. So... We are able to catch it first try with a Pokeball, as per usual. You'll love to see it. Some solid experience. Dexter grew to level 16. Is it time? It is time, yes. We get to see how, ooh, there's like some crazy Adam stuff going on in the background. Darwin would be pleased. The day has finally come, yes, okay. That thing's actually pretty legit looking. I like his color scheme. Our right, Dexter evolved into Drizzile. Which is actually a cool nickname, or a, new, and a cool name as well. Got Reptile and Drizzle in there. I love him. I will protect you with my life. Drizzle's data will be added to the Pokedex. Let's check it out. A clever combatant. This Pokemon battles using water balloons created with moisture secreted from its palms. Which is actually pretty cool. Also, we get the Dex entry for a little squirrel lad. Found throughout the Gala region, this Pokemon becomes uneasy if its cheeks are ever completely empty of berries. Uh, we're not going to give you a nickname because I'm not going to end up using it. But we're just going to send it to the old box. And nice! Other Pokemon took the Rost Berries away. So we still get all the other berries. We get two Orange Berries, five Petchas, and a Persim. Which is cool. Let's take a look at our new Emo Lizard. Dexter is like the most fitting nick nickname for this damn thing. Uh, so overall, pretty cool. I think that the green really gives this, this, this lad a cool uh, color scheme. Uh, anyway, we have Nugget at level 11. I really would like to... I would like to use this thing. I don't know if it's going to really be able to help out too much. Let's actually check it out. I don't think we checked out the summary last time. Now that I think about it. Uh, it has heat proof. Heat proof body of the Pokemon halves, halves the damage from fire type moves that hit it. 
Uh, it has Tackle, Smokescreen, Rapid Spin, and Smackdown. So Smackdown's a nice rock move to have. And uh, I think this thing actually has access to a couple different abilities. We got Heat Proof, which isn't really too big of a deal. We're already rock type anyway, so we're not that afraid of fire types. But continuing on, let's see what else there is in the wild here. It is just going to be one of them little Rookadees, which is actually great. We can test out we can test out Nugget's abilities. I love his little wheel and everything. So level 9 Rookadee, we're going to smack down the hell out of you. As it's going to hone claws. Sharpen up the old claws. We are not afraid. See how much this Smackdown does. Super excited to see this thing evolve. Smackdown doing a bunch of damage. Falls straight down. You are on the ground now, boy. Now it's going to power trip. Which uh, does hurt a little bit. That depends on how much um, stat boosts we've increased. But one more attack. Ruka D is dead. And we are actually going to grow a level off of that as well. Go to level 12. Swiper level 14. Nice. Alright, um, you know what I should do? I should actually put, should put an Orin Berry on this thing. Let's give you, let's give you an Orin Berry. Just gonna help us out. This is not too much longer that Orin Berries are gonna be even useful, but might as well use them. Oh, should I accidentally used it? Well, that's fine. That'll heal you just like a potion. But now we're gonna give you one as well. So if you get knocked down, that's fine. Next up, we have like a police officer looking dude. What's up, friend? I'll show you what I carry. Letters and victory. Oh wait, he's not a... You're not police if you're holding letters. Is this a freaking, like, postman? Postman Tad. <laughs> yes. He has a deli bird, too. Oh my god, yes. They gave the postman guy a deli bird. And this is actually perfect for Nugget, too. We can just smack down the hell out of this thing. It's level 14. But it's probably just only going to use present anyway. Yep. <laughs> Fun fact about present. Uh, it is a move that has a chance to heal you. Uh, see? It just didn't affect me. That means it, it, it healed me that time. I'm pretty sure it's like a 50-50 roll. I don't know if it heals you or does damage. I can't believe that they would even give, like, access to Delibird in this game. Out of all the Pokemon they Thanos snapped away, they let you use Delibird. Ooh, trying to learn Pluck. Nice. So, decent Flying-type move at 60 damage. Uh, is going to be much better than Peck. And things are looking up for the team. I think we've kind of finally hit the point where, uh, getting, like, a nice little, some better gains. Got our first evolution, getting some better moves. Turns out I was carrying your victory. You sure were, buddy. It's a nice floofy beard you got there as well. All right, continuing on. We have a little camping set up. Hello? If you want to heal your Pokemon, there's nothing like setting up your camp and cooking them a good meal. Here, you can add this berry to the pot. Nice, so she gives us a cherry berry. We haven't really done any of the cooking in uh, camping yet. But let's kind of... So I think we just go straight from the menu to Pokemon Camp. Let's actually see what this is about. I think when I first did it, we didn't kind of see all the features. So yeah, we have our tent back there. <laughs> Will who comes running. I love it so much. Uh, we can zoom in. Ooh, Froggy Boy. So if we press A, we can call Pokemon. He's coming. Oh, Lord. Will who's just... He's like, did you call me? Look at him crawling. That is actually really cool. I like... I like this feature a lot, actually. Okay, so if we hit X, we can open up the menu. So we have the toy, cooking, or take down the tent. Uh, so we can bust out cooking. Cook up, cook up a fine curry while out camping by selecting ingredients and berries if you're liking. The curries will get more delicious if you choose to do things like using rare ingredients or adding lots of berries, too. Once you start cooking, fan the flames with your fan to keep things hot enough and stir things with your ladle to keep them moving. Only don't go overboard. You don't want to spill. The last step will be add your bit of soul into it. Just the right timing, and you'll have made a masterpiece for your Pokemon to enjoy. After you finish cooking, it'll be time for everyone to dig in together. Eating a tasty curry can have a number of effects on the Pokemon that are at your camp, including restoring their HP and making them feel more friendly. Uh, so we don't really need to do any cooking right now, considering the team is essentially good to go. But it's good to know that uh, that's the op there's an option to basically have a Pokemon Center on the road at any time. Not sure how much the healing works, but I guess we'll figure that out soon. Also, was this guy sparkling? I swear I saw a sparkle. Yeah, his Pokeball was. Every Pokemon's got a type or two, and every type has strong points and weak ones. Sure does. A lot of youngsters around here. Or schoolboys, I mean. Schoolboys and girls. Got a sizz Sizzlipede? Oh my god. <laughs> we have not seen one of these things. Super tiny little sizzle boy. I love it. I have seen this thing briefly. And, uh... I think it's a bug fire type. We're going to give you a smackdown. That's going to destroy you. Yo, this Roly Coley was about the best thing we could have caught. 
absolutely destroying things. Where can I catch one of those? Please. I need it. Next is a Dottler. What the heck? Okay, this guy's got all sorts of new stuff. Dottler is... Whoa. Okay, I have no idea what the hell that thing is. Definitely looks like a bug. We're just going to continue to smack down. So it is super effective. Now it's going to confusion. Maybe a psychic bug type? I am intrigued. So overall, so far, the Pokemon designs have seemed really cool. I think they've done a great job. One more Smackdown after this is going to do it. One more confusion. And Roly Coley is not afraid. So that's going to bust us down to Orenberry range. Go ahead and eat that up. Not in a curry form, but at least I'll heal you up a little bit, buddy. And one more Smackdown should do it. Yo, this youngster's got a badass team. I want one of those little Sizzlers. <laughs> Slizzer, or whatever that was. Slizzard. We are all about the lizards around here. Nugget grew to 14, and Peter has been defeated. I'm weak to people older than me. You don't say. Pick on somebody your own size then, mate. So, some more roly colies around here. Are there going to be... Where did you get that freaking lizard, man? Just another Ruby D. I feel like we might as well kill these things. We could probably Oko you, right? Depending on what level you are. So, I wonder what the alternate ability is for Ruki D. Ours has Unnerve as well. But sometimes that doesn't get prompted when you see one of these. I should probably just catch another one when that doesn't come up just to see what its other ability is. Smackdown is a nice easy one hit. Hey, yo, we're going to get Roly Coley in fighting shape. We got our gym coming up. There's lots to do, boys. Lots of focus, lots of energy, Ruki D. Or, well, I guess Ruki D too, but. Oh, I ran into. Another one. Ruka D's freaking everywhere. I'm going to kill this thing as well. More unnerve. We're just going to get a little bit more experience. It is going to grow us to level 15. We can use all the experience we can get. Uh, I think we're at a pretty decent spot level-wise right now, though. So I'm pleased with how the team's turning out. Down you go. Nugget grew. Trying to learn rock polish. Might be interesting. Probably not going to use a whole lot of rock polish. Uh, we're going to get rid of smoke screen for now. <clears throat> but setup moves like rock polish, I never really use that much in in-game stuff. For competitive, that's actually pretty nice, getting access to rock polish, though. So, love to see it. And it looks like we are coming up on a cave. There's a super potion here. Nice, it's our first super potion, so that's cool. Um, I probably need to heal that thing up soon. Also, it's level 15. Maybe we could switch it up and put swiper in front. We're coming across a cave, though. So, we should probably... Let's put, let's put Dexter in front. I really want to see this thing in action. Let's see what we got going over here. Hey, is that the girl? Nope, different girl. What's up? Hiya. Me and my little sister have set ourselves up a pop-up Pokemon Center service. Not that we asked anyone if we could. My ga Gallarmine is a pretty rough on a team, isn't it? I'll hear your Pokemon for you, friend. Wow. What a nice citizen. See? This seems like this is set in Canada, man. <laughs> Alright, so we're heading into the mine. I believe, yep, this is the place where we've seen screenshots of. There's Roly Coley's all over the place. So the ones outside in the grass have just escaped the cave. And this is awesome looking. I really like this place. Dude, this game is so good. Honestly, I think it's better than I had initially expected. Find ourselves a revive right there. And this guy is ready for a battle. What's happening, buddy? My work partner I and I are in perfect sync, even in battle. Nice. So, worker Keith here. Got his helmet on. He is ready to go. He's got a rock and roller, so that's fitting. Seems like a great place for a rock and roller. The background of this place is super cool. I like the, the glowing gems. We're just going to give you a nice little water pulse. We could also be using our grass type lad as well. But right, water pulse is going to knock you out. No sturdy. A little rock and roller goes down. I, those things remind me of the bob bombs from Mario. Swiper goes to level 15. Nice. Hmm. Looks like we weren't in sync. <clears throat> Not in sync enough. And, uh, okay, you know what? Dexter's pretty OP at this point. We're gonna go ahead and switch it up. Let's put Lily in front. Let's get this thing a little bit of love. At level 15, we'll be able to razor leap the hell out of some rock types if that's what we if that's what we find. There's a Pokeball over here, but we can't get there from this way. So let's see if we can go around. Also, I'm sure there's gonna be some new Pokemon in here as well. Excited to see what else is gonna be, unless it's just the, uh, just the things we've already seen. Okay, so we can go through. This leads to a whole new area where there is a TM for Rock Blast. Nice. 
Rock Blast is a TM that launches two to five rock targets, so that could actually be pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and uh, <clears throat> we're gonna teach that. Let's go ahead and Rock Blast uh, 25 base power. If you hit a decent amount of them, it could be great for Nugget. Let's gonna we don't teach that to you. Just as an alternate option for a rock move, we're gonna get rid of Tackle because ain't nobody got time for Tackle when you can be literally blasting people with rocks. Even though getting tackled by Nugget would be kind of like getting rock blasted, but. You know, Pokemon technicalities. Alright, so there's nothing else this way. Have not seen a whole lot of Pokemon spawns. I'm not sure if everything spawns kind of like in the overworld or what. But we got ourselves a battler over here. What's up? In order to do good work, I can't slack off on training. Do you have uh, one of them coal boys? What do you got, Georgia? Georgia? You got a timber. Nice. Okay, fitting Pokemon for a... Uh, Freaking construction worker to have. Not the best matchup. We're gonna go ahead and switch it up here. We can we can let Tootsie do some serious damage with some plucks. And it's good to know that Girder got uh, got access to life. Being able to be in Gen 8. Conkelder, super good competitive Pokemon. It's nice to see that we'll be able to uh, smack some people with some cinder blocks. You survived this the Thanos snap, the blip or whatever they called it. Alright, Pluck is not quite going to knock you out in one hit. Also, Tootsie's got to be close to growing, or close to evolving. At level 16, thinking maybe 18, something like that. Guess we will have to see. Down goes the Timber. And Snowball goes to level 15. Nice. Next is another Timber. Double Timbers. You're crazy, lady. You're crazy. These things are super... Pretty good. I think Conkeller evolves at such a high level though, so it's not the best mod to be using in game. And you're gonna pound me. It's not fair that you can literally just carry around a beam like that. Why why are you allowed to use weapons? Unless it's literally stuck to their hand. It's that's part of its body. It's not actually just a piece of timber. Nope, he dropped it, just kidding. Alright, Tootsie level 17, Lily level 16, wants to learn round. So, round is a normal move, attacks the target with a song, others can join in the round to increase the power of the attack, so that level, or 60 power, not too shabby. <coughs> We're gonna get rid of Sweet Scent. Honestly, I forgot that round even existed, but, uh, that's pretty cool. Next is another Timber. This lady's got all of the Timbers, so it's nice to have a strong flying type around. And we're also getting some serious experience from this, too, so, we'll take it. I guess that's also why there's somebody out at the front of the cave uh, that heals you up. So we can just head right back and go get healed up from that person if we really want to. One more pluck. Pluck is super nice if the opponent is holding a berry because you actually are able to get the benefits of the berry and do the same damage. So Pluck could be useful if the opponent's using berries. Get $1,400. These construction, construction workers are making paper. All right, let's actually head back. Uh, I'm just going to... It'd be cool if you could ride a minecart or something. Camera angle's a little bit good. Oh, swoop, freaking. There's a wild girder right there and also a woobat. Which is cool. So, we've seen some different stuff. And we are going to talk to you. Fine citizen standing in front of the cave. Ready to heal me up. Thank you. Be nice if you just gave me some potions so I don't have to keep running back to you. But yeah, it's fine. More roly colies. Oh, shit. There is something. Hold up. Hello? Get back here. <laughs> what the hell is that? Is it just full of coal or is that a... Get, get your ass back here. Oh, it disappeared. That had to have been a Pokemon. That has to be the evolved form of freaking Rolly. So we can go left. I really want to get that minecart though. That thing just spawned as if it was a Pokemon. So that was weird. Very strange. Well, maybe we'll see another one at some point. But if not, I guess we blew it. Okay, so let's head this way first and then we'll go straight. Seems like, oh, there's just a TM over here. TM 26 for Scary Face. So, not the most useful TM we've ever found. Uh, you know, it's, it's fine. Also, there's a hidden item right here. It's a bag of Stardust, which is super nice because we can sell that for lots of money. And the only objective for money in this game, for me, is to buy freaking cool clothes. <laughs> also, we got a hard stone, a durable stone that boosts the power of rock type moves. Hey, I know just the rocky little fellow that can use that. Hey, Nugget. Let's go ahead and give you an item here. We are going to give you the hard stone. 
Make you just a little bit harder, buddy. Okay, cool. But we're still not going to leave you in front because unless you have a... This person has the bat. That'd be actually kind of nice. Working women are good at Pokemon battles too. Well then, prove it, lady. Love to see the female representation of the, the workers. Got a Diglett. Nice. That's pretty cool. Lily can razor leaf the absolute shit out of this thing. Good to see our buddy Diglett made it. He's going to scratch me. How does Diglett use scratch? What kind of... Do you have the sharp a sharp nose or what? No one's ever seen Diglett's freaking hands. Razor leaf is going to destroy you. Down goes the little Diglett. Next is a Drillbur. Hey, that's actually pretty cool. Okay. So, Drillbur is one of the Pokemon we can expect to see in this cave, actually. And it would be nice to snag a couple of those. Because I do know that Drillbur is going to be... Or Ex, uh, Excadrill is going to be super good and competitive. Just because of that reason right there. Rapid Spin. Gives you the stat boost now. But when you get caught and down, you hate to see it. No razor leaf, not quite gonna be able to knock it out. This thing's level 15, so actually a kind of scary drillber. Now the rapid spin. A good thing about getting attacked with rapid spin is that it doesn't do very much damage, uh, so that's nice. But it could be used in situations where you only need a little bit of damage to pick something off. You can essentially just get a free boost. So excited to see how rapid spin affects the meta. Or maybe you're watching this let's play a while after the game has already been established, and you know, but. Hello, person from the future. All right, Sandra's been defeated. Your Pokemon, I want to scout them. You want to what? You want to do what to my Pokemon? We got some bats over there. I really wish you could change the camera angle and see kind of what's going on in the, in the little valley, but just some bats flying around. Also another Roly Coley. Oh, there's another freaking minecart thing that just spawned. I was looking around for items, but I found a trainer. Well then, let's get it. These people are just slacking off on the job. Everybody's battling. What, what kind of work could be getting done here? You've got yourself a roly Coley. Chilling on his little wheel. And sorry to do this to you, buddy. Level 15 roly Coley is going to be faster, so it's able to get off a tackle. But it's fine. Lily's a beast. Cotton down. Super cool ability. I actually like that a lot. Going to drop your speed. I see this thing being a nice defensive mod. Razor Leaf almost does the trick. Are we faster now because of the speed drop? We sure are. That is a scenario where that is directly useful. Check that out. Razor Leaf knocks you out. Solid experience, and that's all he's got. Russell, I'm going to need you to work on that, buddy. Get $1,500. And, uh, cool. Another timber right there. Let's go ahead and use a potion. We only have 12 of these things. We also have that super potion, though. We're just going to give one to Lily. Probably be good with that. Seems like a lot of rock types. We have a lot of type advantages here. Oh, there's a hidden item right here. The sparkly boys. It is a revive, so... Love to see the revives. Can one of those mine cards please spawn? I need it. Maybe if I, if I stand right in front of where I saw that thing spawn? I'm intrigued. If it is the evolution of Roly Coley, that means I guess maybe our Roly Coley is going to evolve soon because it wouldn't be that high of level. Hey, it's this lady. We hate you. Coming this way, I'd advise against it. Any trainer with a wishing star is in, a, in for a beating from me and my Pokemon. Oh, okay. We're about to get into a little scrap here, which is nice. We're going to put Nugget in front. Let's see what this lady's got, so... She's been kind of an asshole to us later, earlier, but we'll see. How really good you are. Look at the hair swipe. You're the gym challenger endorsed by the champion, aren't you? What a joke. You're aware of the chair. The chairman is more important than the champion, right? I was chosen by the chairman himself, so that makes me more amazing than you. Wow. Oh, okay. Suppose I should prove beyond doubt just how pathetic you are and how strong I am. We kind of love to see the mean rivals, though, so this is kind of cool. Got a great ball. Her name is Bead Bede. Got a soul assist. So that's actually pretty cool. Love to see a soul assist. Nugget doesn't have much for that. Um, we could actually just go right into... Let's go into Swiper. Who should be Swiffer, because his tail is literally a Swiffer duster. Her tail. I think. Yep, her. Tis a female. Confusion does not affect us because we're dark type. You'll love to see it. We are going to go ahead and beat you up. You fucked with the wrong fox today, lady. And so after six beat-ups, probably not going to do much. Should I be using Snarl? What is this saying? Stats. I haven't really even looked too much at the stats. 
So that was some decent damage from beat up. Almost a one hit KO. Or is it? It is! The sixth hit come in and clutch. Why did the first one do like no damage? I don't, I don't, maybe I don't understand how freaking beat up works. Anyway, Soul Assist fainted. I'm just giving your Pokemon a little chance to shine, that's all. Oh, are you? Cyber grows to level 16, wants to learn Assurance, which is again another decent uh, dark move at 60 base power. We can, I mean, usually gets all the party Pokemon to attack the target. The more party Pokemon, the greater number of attacks. Is that better? That should we be doing that instead? We're getting rid of Quick Attack. Screw it. We love to have Assurance, though. All right, what is next? Next is a Hat Hatena. I have no idea what the hell that thing is, but I see Atena. Sounds like it's going to have antennas. <laughs> a bug? We're going into Nugget. We're about to see a new Pokemon right now. Fire me up. What you got for me, lady? Hopefully Nugget can do it. I don't know what the hell this thing is. Still cannot tell you. Looks like it's a fairy, though. <laughs> it's level 16, and it's going to go for a confusion. So maybe it was a psychic type. Maybe I should have just left in Swiper. Gonna see how much a Rock Blast does. Let's hit it five times. How about it? You got it. Come on, Nugget. Yes. One big one for me. Yeah. Okay. Not able to quite kill it, but we do get the five hits, which is nice. So we're gonna finish you off with a Smackdown. And she has one more Pokemon after this. We can take another Confusion, which is fine. I feel like we're probably due to see Hop here pretty soon as well. Down goes the Hatena. Got a little party hat on. The hell is that thing? Get some experience. Next is a Gothita. All right, so good to know that Gothita is back in the game. We have not seen one of these things yet. Gothitelle is a Pokemon that has never really gotten a whole lot of love. That's what I mean when, like, we saw Delibird earlier. Why did they choose to bring a lot of these Pokemon back? I have no idea. What have I been doing? Well, whatever. Let's just get this over with. Yeah, bitch, you about to get smacked. And then I'll clean up the evidence with my tail. We're going to go ahead and assurance you. Little baby Gothita. What a weird... Looks like it would be a pre-evolution to Jinx. Just terrible looking. I, I honestly... I really do not do not like the Gothita line. But, you know... To each their own. It's a fitting Pokemon for this lady to have, though. So That works. And they've been defeated. I see. Well, that's fine. I wasn't really trying all that hard anyway. Yeah, sure you weren't. Got some cool psychic stuff, though. Well, that was unexpected, I suppose. You're more able than I thought. Naturally, I'll remember you, your battle style and strategies now. I'm sure to easily defeat you if and when. Yeah, okay. Now that we've established that, I won't waste any more time on you. Gathered all the wishing stars. This lady came in here and cleaned the place up. We have wishing stars. I really need another one of those damn carts to happen. Like, it's got to be a Pokemon, right? Oh, how did I miss this Pokeball initially? You guys probably have already all left comments. Boots prevent the effects of traps set on the battlefield. Interesting new item. Nice. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, and then there's a hidden item right here. I was just straight rushing past this place. There's probably also some other things I missed. but Well, whatever. We're about ready to get out of this cave, I suppose. If there's no more for us to do, kind of just a straight shot. There's another hidden item right here. It's going to be another bag of Stardust. So she may have gotten all the wishing stars, but we got two bags of Stardust. So joke's on you, lady. Get hacked. All right, so here we are at Route 4. Uh, who should we lead with? Nugget's looking a little bit hurt in level 16, though. Let's go with Snowball. At level 15, we'll get you a little bit more love there, Snowball. Oh, hello. You don't battle. Me and my big sister set ourselves up as a pop-up. Hey, nice. So... Her sister was the one in the front. Now we get healed up again, right out of the cave. Love to see it. So we're close to Turfield. There's also another berry tree right here. We're going to go ahead and check that out. We're going to shake it. I don't know if anything too crazy can come out of the trees. We might as well test it again. I'm pretty sure it's probably just going to be like the squirrels or just some standard stuff. There's five berries on the ground. We're going to continue to shake some more fall. Orin and Lepa fell from the tree. Seven on the ground. We're shaking it more. Eight berries on the ground. We're quitting. We're grabbing all the berries. Three Lepa berries, three cherry berries, and two Orin berries. These berries are really good for when we can cook our curries. So, what is happening with you, guy? Or girl? I cannot tell. I don't I don't assume. It's, t it's almost 2020. 
All right, Jamie, what is happening? Got a meowth. What the hell is this thing? Um, so that's a new meowth. Level 14. What? What are you? Also, when does Snowball learn a new move? The world may never know. So new Meowth form is looking pretty damn ridiculous. It resists tackle. It's gonna growl at me. I thought giving Meowth a freaking Gigantamax form was enough, but apparently not. Let's go into, um, I mean actually, let's go into Dexter. Let's give this thing a water pulse of its lifetime. I did not expect to see a new Meowth right now. It's got a, its whole face is a beard. It is just a beard with arms and legs. Okay, you actually could see behind it a little bit. Very in very interesting little thing you got here. What the hell? I like how its coin on its head is black, though. Rather interesting. I think that's gonna kill it. So, not sure what to think of that thing. <laughs> I guess it's kinda cool, though. Snowball wants to learn Double Kick. Hey, there's our new move. It's unfortunately not a stab move, but... We'll take it. We're gonna get rid of Growl. Considering Tackle is our only stab move, we really need this thing to learn something freaking new. But now we can double kick stuff, so. Lily 17. Next is a Butterfree. A hey, nice. Uh, so Butterfree, we'll go into Tootsie. So we're level 18 and didn't evolve. It's gotta be like 22 then. What the hell? What if the starter or the, the starting bird Pokemon doesn't evolve? They just trolled everybody. Level 15 Butterfree. Interesting. This guy's got the Kanto stuff. Supersonic, of course it hits. And now we're going to hit ourselves in confusion just about every damn time possible. Don't do it. Don't you hit yourself. Yeah, we are able to get off the pluck. Going to do a lot of damage. That's actually one hit KO. Look at us. Oko and stuff like it's our job. Butterfree goes down. Nugget's going to grow to 17. Swiper 17 as well. Very nice. Next is a C dot. Okay, for C dot, we'll just stay in. Interesting team you got here, guy. Is it supposed to be like a trash can lid on top of CDOT's head? Oh, we hit ourselves. Of course we do. Damn it. There's like an acorn. I always looked at it like, why is it silver? Or gray. It's because the Pokemon is trash. We do snap out of confusion. Pluck should knock this thing out. Yes, sir. Level 14. So I think that we're actually probably perfectly leveled for the first gym. I, th I assume we're able to do the challenge kind of as soon as we get out of this route. Um, but I'm, I'm pleased with how... Our levels are looking. Hey, and it's finally going down. Double evolutions this episode, boys. Tootsie is about to evolve. We finally get to see what little Hooters evolves into. And nice. That's actually pretty sick looking. It is a Corvusquire. Oh my god. We evolve into Corviknight, don't we? Holy shit. Corvusquire. Pure flying type. Smart enough to use the tools in battle. These Pokemon have been seen picking up rocks and flinging them. Or using ropes to wrap up enemies. My god. Crows are fucked up, man. Well, that is awesome. We got another evolution. It finally went down. We are going to, uh... We're... Sorry, I freaking... I scrolled past this thing way too many times. Let's take, let's take a look at old Tootsie. Has unnerved still. So, definitely got some decent attack. Love to see it. What do we have over here? It's one, it's one of those weird-ass Meowths. All right, we have to catch this thing just to see what the hell this thing's deal is, honestly. Uh, it's got to be some type of dark type, right? Yep, super effective. Why did it resist normal, though? So we'll give you a little double kick. Not going to do much damage. We'll probably have to double kick you twice. But I do want to catch this thing just because if you showed me this Pokemon like two weeks ago, I would have thought it was a fake. But this is a real this is a real thing. Interesting. Alright. Let's go ahead and give you just a regular Pokeball should probably do the trick. I really hope this works because I don't want my Wulu to get freaking attacked again. Also look at that rock back there that has the X carved into it. Interesting. And we are able to catch it. Meowth is ours. It's our second Meowth. Are we not going to get a dex entry for this thing, though? Or maybe since it's a different one? I have no idea. Alright, we are not going to give you a nickname. We'll just send you to a box. So, we're not able to really see any information about on that thing until we 
check out its summary. What do you think? I just look like a Pikachu, right? You sure do. You had me freaking fooled. Came running at me right after that wild battle. Didn't even have a second. Alright, and you actually have a Pikachu as well. Nice. So our first Pikachu we've actually seen, we've got uh, a gift one, but let's go into Nugget for this thing at level 17. We're going to Rock Blast the hell out of your Pikachu. I like the sound of Nugget's cry, too. Going to go for an Electro Ball. Unfortunately, we're not ground type. We just rock. But we take that pretty nicely, so that's fine. We're going to Rock Blast the hell out of you. Uh, rock Blast, it depends on if it's better than using... Smackdown on how many hits we get. Another Electro Ball. Rock Blast, give us five. We'll take four. Damn it. Only get three. Well, we can take one more hit. More Electro Balls. If we get paralyzed, we can actually... I mean, anyway, no matter what, after this battle, we'll go back and heal from that. That fine young lady that heals us after the cave. Pikachu is dead. Hit one time. Get some solid experience. Nugget or Snowball goes to 17. And Shane has been defeated. I like your onesie though, buddy. I dig it. Alright. Ooh, there's a Pumpkaboo right there. And also, that's one of those Meowths. For a second, I was like, what the hell is that? Find ourselves a Paralyzed Heal. It's funny they give it to you right after that Pikachu battle. What kind of cool stuff do we have on this route? We got another item. It's three Nest Balls, which is cool. And, uh... Just Meowths all over the place. Oh, there's another hidden... Oh my god, the Meowths is coming right after me. Stop it, buddy. Gonna go ahead. Ooh, it's a rare candy. Nice. There's a Yamper. We do have another Wild Encounter here, and it's gonna be a little Joltik. Nice. Have not seen a Joltik yet. We did see a Galvantula in the Wild area. Um, let's go ahead and actually just kill this thing. Probably should only take, like, a couple tackles. A little Joltik, not the most defensive. Damn, it's still, like, three tackles? It's gonna bug bite. This would actually be a cool Pokemon to add to the team. I really do like Joltik. Galvantula is a cool Pokemon that kind of gets overlooked. It's great for you setting up sticky webs in competitive, but... That's going to Electro Web. Heck and ouch. Snowball. We really need to get you... Get you some better uh, some better moves, man. Tackle's just really not cutting it. I might even just hold off on using Wooloo until we learn at least, like, Headbutt. Headbutt would be helpful. Also, we're going to switch just because we've already invested time into killing this Joltik. So, damn it, we're going to kill it. Assurance should do the trick. Also, Swiper should be the next thing to evolve. Um, I'm expecting it to probably be in the 20s, though, so it's not going to be for a little while. But it is exciting, knowing that that thing could evolve into freaking anything. Also, that Assurance didn't even kill it. How bulky is this Joltik? My god. It's a little ass... Electric spider mite thingy. But my god, can this thing take hits like a champ? That is gonna do it. See you later, Joltik. Alright, Nugget gets to 18 off of that. So was it worth it? Probably not. But we did it anyway. Hey! And another evolution! Sweet Jesus, we love to see it. So, if this turns into the minecart thingy, I called it. Yes, it totally did. Oh my god. This thing is amazing. Carcoal. He is literally a minecart. I freaking love him. Yes. So now it is rock and fire type. It forms coal inside its body. Coal dropped by this Pokemon once helped fuel the lives of people in this Gala region. Nice. And we're learning a move. Learning Flame Charge. Fuck yeah, since now we're fire type, we can learn Flame Charge. This might just be my favorite Pokemon on the team right now. We're going to get rid of Rock Polish for now. Rock and fire type is super cool. We do, uh, we do hate ground moves, though. But, overall, a pretty interesting Pokemon. I wonder if that thing evolves again, or if that's it. No idea. Okay, let's run back this way. We're gonna go heal up. It looks like there's quite a few more trainers on this route, or at least a couple. Um, so we're gonna head back to the cave exit. There was some stuff to do over to the right. So we're gonna talk to you. My big sister and me just literally like to spend our days standing out here, healing up people's Pokemon. Because... Good karma. Alright. Um, so we can head this way. I'm assuming that there is going to be... Hold on. What do you do? Camping with your Pokemon. Playing together. Cooking together. Great ways to be closer with your Pokemon. We can stop by her camp if we would like. We moving right along. Okay. That person is dressed up as an Eevee. There's a wild Diglett right there. A couple wild Diglets. And another Pumpkaboo. 
some interesting stuff. I love seeing all the Pokemon that inhabit all the new routes. Also, there is a wild Eevee. Nice. I just wanted to run into this thing on the off chance that it was a shiny. Could you imagine if I found a shiny Eevee? That would be insane. I guess we could double kick it a couple times, though. Get Wooloo a little bit more experience before we get into some more uh, some more trainer battles. And sweet Jesus, that quick attack did a lot. This Eevee must be a beast. Two double kicks does do the job, though, so we'll let Wooloo get the benefit of the doubt here and at least get to, like, 18. If we don't learn Headbutt soon... I'm going to freaking riot. They know everybody wants to use Wooloo. Why aren't they giving him good moves? Come on now. Alright, that is going to kill the Eevee. Very nice. Hit you two times. Decent experience. Cool. Alright, so there's an item right here. We are going to grab a pile of silver powder. A uh, held item. Shiny powder that boosts the power of bug type moves. Pretty cool. That Diglett's coming after me. 2x accuracies, we are not going to use that. But there is a person in an Eevee outfit here. Okay, now I say a wild Pokey kid appeared. Cool, so I'm assuming you're going to have an Eevee. There was a Pikachu person. Kind of a little, uh, little reference to Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, which is cool. Milk, Milsery? Mil what the hell is that thing? Milkery? Is this thing literally a milk Pokemon? It's level 15. We're going to double kick it. It's probably going to freaking kill me. No idea... Wait, did that say not super, not very effective on the move when I clicked that? I don't think it did because we haven't seen this thing. Interesting. Gonna do I think this thing's actually fairy type. It goes for a draining kiss. Hmm. Interesting. A little milkery, huh? Well, let's go into Dexter for this thing. Tootsie's actually the highest leveled mod on the team at level 19. You'll love to see it. So we shall bring in the Dexter. And uh, we're going to water pulse the hell out of you. Very interesting Pokemon you got here. Sweet Scent is going to lower our evasiveness, which really does not matter at all. And now we can Water Pulse here. We're almost level 19 with this thing. I, I love the move animation for Water Pulse. We grab the uh, like the water balloon in our hand and just chuck it at it. Super cool. Get some health back from Draining Kiss. Does not matter. Because you are dead. Look at me form the water balloon. Yes. Take that. Turns into a pulse somehow, and you're dead. Get your milk Pokemon out of my face. Dexter level 19 wants to learn Tearful Look. I don't think I've seen that. User gets a teary eye to make the target lose its combative spirit. Lowers the target's attack and special attack status. So we'll get rid of Bind, I guess. Never going to use Bind anyway. So we, now we have Tearful Eye. If we ever need to uh, lower some stats, I guess that's pretty sweet. Very nice. And Sunny has been defeated. You didn't even have an Eevee. What the hell? Just a milky. Okay. Oh, something's going down. Wooloo, where do you think you're going? Bleh. Uh, hello? <laughs> Just rolling down the hill. Wooloo crashed into you and it stopped. Hey, it's the gym leader guy. We've seen this dude. What is up? My, are you okay? You took that tackle head on. Hmm, you must be one of those gym challengers, right? Yes, indeed. I thought so. Saw you at the opening ceremony. My name's Milo. I'm a gym leader and rather partial to the grass type Pokemon. I've been itching to see how just how good the champion endorsed gym challengers are. Let me find out at the gym stadium. So this is our first gym leader. Just head on through this route and you'll run right into my stadium. See you there. So we are going to do a grass gym for the first gym battle, which is cool. Not going to be able to use our starter, which is unfortunate. But uh, I'm excited to see how that goes. Anyway, let's go ahead and switch it up here. Let's put... Let's put little Nougat in front. Because I do want to see this thing in action. Right, we have not gone this way. I saw a little sparkly boy over here. Is that a jump right there? It's a revival herb, which is cool. Also... Hello, little Eevee friend. I'm an Eevee. I'm full of possibilities. Just like an Eevee, you can be whatever you want to be. Unless it's types outside of what Eevee can evolve into. So you do actually just have an Eevee, which is cool. We got our little nugget here. He's not so little anymore. My freaking minecart here. Uh, we have flame charge, which is 50 base power. Uh, so we're better off just using... I guess flame charge works. We can't get a speed boost from that as well. So flame charge could be pretty cool. It's going to baby doll eye us. Which uh, is unfortunate because that's going to lower our attack. So flame charge is not going to do nearly as much. But we do get the speed boost, which is cool. We're just going to continue to flame charge it. 
Just gonna absolutely roast and toast the shit out of your Eevee. More baby doll eyes. Why would you do this to me? Please stop that. Okay, it's probably gonna baby doll eyes again. We are gonna be faster though. Uh, you know what? Let's actually just switch. All you have is an Eevee. We're gonna go into. We're gonna go into Swiper. Who kind of reminds me of Eevee a little bit. This is an evil Eevee. Evil V. Now you decide to attack, huh? God, that does a lot. Why is my why am I so low on defense? More baby doll eyes. This is the fastest Eevee that's ever lived. Please, cut it out. Assurance right to ye old face. It's gonna need one more to kill it. Please, Eevee. Please die. That's what we're faster now. Because uh I need quick attack to actually last turn. That's fine. Now we take a tackle. Swiper, just getting hurt out of here. We are gonna open up the old Orenberry. Not really gonna help us out too much, to be honest. Probably our days of using orange berries as hold items are probably just about done. God damn it. This Eevee is so difficult to kill. Please just die already. Alright. Down you go. A little pain in the ass Eevee. Piper goes level along with Lily level 18. I'm an Eevee. You sure are. You sure are. Okay. Oh, it's going down so many evolutions. Swiper is evolving too. Boys, the team is really coming together. Let's see what this thing turns into. Okay. Straight up Swiper out here. Swiper no swiping. That's actually a pretty cool looking boy. I like it. Even a girl though. Just kidding. Secretly marks potential targets with a scent. By following the scent, it stalks its targets and steals from them when they least to least expect it. We straight up straight up a thief. Also, we're learning thief. Wow, that could not have been better timing. Uh, so Thief is a dark type move that he steals the uh, hold item of the opponent. It's at 60 power. It could be a little bit better um, than Assurance. Actually, Assurance damage doubles if we've already been attacked at the same turn. Uh, let's just get rid of Snarl. As a special attack, we don't really need it. We have so many dark type move options. It's really all this thing I've learned so far. But that's pretty cool. Tons of evolutions. Oh, I accidentally jumped on that thing, but there was a hold or hidden item. It is going to be a paralyzed healing. Cool. So we jump this way. Look at this tree. There's a wild Pikachu right there. And also, there's a person dressed as a Pikachu. So I think there's only probably a couple more battles on this route. This is just to kind of get you ready uh, for the upcoming gym. You got a Joltik, so perfect for our minecart. Should have named this thing Minecraft. I like how the coals heat up when it gets sent out. We are going to actually just Rock Blast you. See how you like this, Joltik. The last Joltik we battled was randomly difficult. But this one, just gonna get destroyed. What else you got for me, Pikachu guy? Uh, did that say Grubbin? I did not see. Yep, did see Grub say Grubbin. So, good to know that Vikavolt is gonna be in this game, which is cool. Love to see it. The Grubbin has returned. And that's going to destroy you. So the reason why I'm training this thing up is it's probably going to be pretty useful for the uh, the grass gym. We are neutral to grass. There's rock and fire. But with that flame charge, we're going to be looking pretty nice. Cool. So there is a TM right here. That Pikachu's straight coming right at me. We get pin missile TM-07. Very interesting. We'll take that. It's one of them weird-ass Meowths. And I thought there would be another hidden item over there. But there was not. Anyway, over this way, I did see this guy previously. Sup? 50 years of raising Pokemon. Did you come to see the progress of my work? 50 years? You look like a teenager. What the hell? We got an Electrike. So, another Pokemon that we have not seen yet. Very cool. Very cool. We're just going to give you a little Flame Charge at level 15. Yeah, not much of a threat. A little Electrike. Two flame charges are going to do it. We get the speed boost, which does not matter at all. And tackle. Really? That's all you got for me? Just tackle, huh? This guy does have two Pokemon. Now it's going to quick attack. It's on my speed boost, and it's like, oh no, I'm faster. Oh, and we actually have flame body now, which I did not even realize. Uh, which, that's pretty cool. When you make contact with a Pokemon that has the flame body ability, there is a chance to uh, burn the opponent, which is pretty sweet. Love to see it. All right, what is next? Next is a Lotad. Uh, we'll switch for a Lotad. Let's go into... 
Let's go into, into Tootsie. We're going to be level 20 soon, which is... Seems crazy. My majestic birdie. Alright, little Lotad. Still working with that unnerve? You about to get plucked. I hate to do it to you, buddy, but it had to be done. He's going to be a one-hit KO, and I do believe we are ready for the first gym. Exciting stuff. I got to 19. Bradley's been defeated. Well, I didn't raise them for 50 years. Yeah, I, I imagined, considering you look like you're 10. All right. There is a sharp beak right here. Increases the power of flying moves, which is actually pretty cool. We should definitely give that to our flying lad. That's perfect. Um, sharp beak. We're going to give that to Tootsie rather than the Orenberry. We're going to swap that for you. Nice. And now Pluck is going to do even more. Also, there's another fishing spot right here. Let's check out what we can fish up. If it's going to be something other than a Magikarp, hopefully. We got ourselves a bite. What's it going to be? It's just a Magikarp. <laughs> so, it seems like we haven't been able to fish up anything really too crazy. It is a level 15 Magikarp, though. So, if you invest in that thing for five more levels, you get yourself a Gyarados, which could be pretty nice. If that's the type of thing you're into, but we are not. So... I do believe it is time to head into the new city. But guys, we are going to do that next time. Hop is sitting there waiting for us. we got a Poke Center, and we got the gym ready to go. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button on the video if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys later.